Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create ceiling square diffuser Revit family. In this video, I will create three part of family, mainframe, deflector, and 2D symbol, and then load and combine into main family. And I will refer those dimension in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. To create main family. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to family category and parameter. Select air terminal for family category and select normal for part type. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 311.5mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for A. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 268mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for A1. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 34mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for A2. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 22 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to family type. Edit a parameter instance to type. And click OK. Add formula for A2 parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 38 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for depth. Keep type and click OK. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Edit profile in left view. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Draw start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Select the arc. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Save the family. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Go to left view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. To create deflector family. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Select the existing reference plane. 
offset 100 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for length. Select instance and click OK. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 38 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for depth. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 19 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the sweep. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Edit profile in left view. Draw start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Save the family. Insert and load this created family into main family. Go to reference level. Find the loaded family in project browser. Drag and drop the family to the reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Associate the material parameter to material. Associate D parameter to D. Assign L parameter to L. Keep type and click OK. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for N. Keep type and click OK. Add formula for N parameter. And click apply. Add formula for L parameter. And click apply. Add a new parameter for L1 to L11. Add formula for L1 to L11 parameter. And click apply. Click apply and OK. Select the family. Copy and paste the family. Select the family. Associate L parameter to L1. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Copy and paste the family. Associate L parameter to L2. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Copy and paste the family. Associate L parameter to L3. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Copy and paste the family. 
select the family. Associate L parameter to L4. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Copy and paste the family. Associate L parameter to L5. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Copy and paste the family. Select the family. Associate L parameter to L6. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Copy and paste the family. Associate L parameter to L7. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Copy and paste the family. Select the family. Associate L parameter to L8. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Copy and paste the family. Associate L parameter to L9. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Copy and paste the family. Select the family. Associate L parameter to L10. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Copy and paste the family. Associate L parameter to L11. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to reference level. Insert dimension image for reference. Go to family type. Create a new family type for DN625. And click OK. Create a new family type for DN600. And click OK. Set parameters value as per image dimension. And click apply. Create a new family type for DN500. And click OK. Set parameters value as per image dimension. And click apply. Create a new family type for DN400. And click OK. Set parameters value as per image dimension. And click apply. Create a new family type for DN300. And click OK. Set parameters value as per image dimension. And click apply. Create a new family type for DN250. And click OK. Set parameters value as per image dimension. And click apply. Select DN625 family type. And click apply and OK. Go to 3D view. Go to family type. Select DN600 family type. And click apply and OK. Select the family. Assign visible parameter to DN625. Keep type and click OK. Go to family type. Off DN625 visible parameter for DN600 family type. And click apply. Select DN500 family type. And click apply and OK. Select the family. Assign visible parameter to DN600. Keep type and click OK. Go to family type. Off DN625 and DN600 visible parameter for DN500 family type. Select DN400 family type. Select the family. Assign visible parameter to DN500. Keep type and click OK. Go to family type. Off all visible parameter for DN400 family type. Select DN300 family type. And click apply and OK. Select the family. 
assign visible parameter to DN400. Keep type and click OK. Go to family type. Off all visible parameter for DN300 family type. Select DN250 family type. Select the family. Assign visible parameter to DN300. Keep type and click OK. Go to family type. Off all visible parameter for DN250 family type. And click apply. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the plastic. Replace white color material. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Select DN300 family type and add material with plastic white material. And click apply. Select DN400 family type and add material with plastic white material. And click apply. Select DN500 family type and add material with plastic white material. And click apply. Select DN600 family type and add material with plastic white material. And click apply. Select DN625 family type and add material with plastic white material. And click apply and OK. To create 2D symbol family. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 30 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 100 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create and select model line. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Draw another line and set 30 mm for length and 25 degrees for angle. Select the line and mirror to opposite side. Go to create select model line. Draw line and set 30 mm for length. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create select model line. Draw line and set 45 degrees for angle. Save the family. Insert and load this created family into main family. Find the loaded family in project browser. Drag and drop the family to the reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family and mirror to opposite side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Select the rotate and copy. Place on intersection point and rotate to 90 degrees. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to family type. Check and play the family type. Click apply and OK. Check in 3D view. Let test the family in the project. Insert and load this family into project. Set 2400 mm elevation from level and place the family. Select each family and select the family type. Select the family and check in 3D view. OK, ceiling square diffuser family creation is completed.
If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.